Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. As promised, I am filming my one month hair growth update video. So to begin, I actually wanna go through some of the questions you guys sent me. In the past few videos of mine, I have asked you guys for your questions regarding my hair. I got a few really good ones that I wanna go over. So first of all, I got a question on Instagram from a uh, underscore Kyra underscore. And she said, did shaving your head boost your confidence and strength in yourself and I would say it's very hard to explain altogether I would say yes for sure like being a whole month into this not having hair like I've really gotten a lot more comfortable at first I remember the first morning I woke up and I saw my shadow and it was just a bald head and ears sticking out and I'm like oh my god who is this person <laughs> I definitely had that struggle for maybe at least the first week where I was like oh my gosh, like, should I have really done this? You know, I will honestly say that I didn't immediately love it. And I think what it was, was that I really wasn't expecting the edginess, if that makes sense. It sounds kind of stupid because it's like, well, yeah, duh, Savannah, like girls with shaved heads are like, it's a more edgy look for sure. Um, and I don't know why I can't explain why I wasn't expecting expecting it like I actually had someone once tell me that like I would feel more feminine than I ever had in my life and I definitely did not feel that way I would look in the mirror without makeup and be like I look like a boy which necessarily is not a bad thing but I did look very androgynous and I still do it took a while for it to grow on me but I will say now I love it that brings me into the next question which I got from a few people both Tanya and Alyssa Love 16 asked if I would be growing it back out or keeping it shaved and you know I'm kind of in between um I think I'm going to grow it out but I'm planning on I mean I say this now but I make spontaneous hair decisions a lot so I'll probably end up getting like the sides taken down and then the top longer and then letting it grow out that way uh, because I've seen a lot of people just grow out the buzz cut and it ends up looking like a mullet six eight months down the road so I'm pretty sure I'll probably end up taking the sides down or like do a fade or like a pixie cut or something my hair has grown significantly it's crazy I'd say I maybe grew a good like half inch or so but uh yeah the end goal is to grow it back out and have like my natural hair again. I don't think, and I say this now and I might change my mind, but I don't think that I'm going to bleach it again. I am going to try the natural hair thing, but who knows? Like, first of all, I haven't seen my natural hair color <laughs> in many years. I might hate it and decide I need something different. So we'll see. But I mean, in the meantime, I don't plan on doing anything crazy. I just want to grow it out longer because if I'm being totally honest, I do kind of miss the feminine. Femininity. Um, and not to say that I can't still look feminine because I, I mean I do but like definitely not as much as I did before with long hair it's I mean literally I could pull off being androgynous one last question I wanted to answer was from Sedona V and Sedona said concerning the hair do you think your scalp gets more Sun on it that it could lead to a sunburn and I'm gonna say no uh, first of all I don't go outside <laughs> I don't leave my house unless I have to I mean I feel like this is a good amount Amount of sun protection now that being said I, I have gotten sunburns on my head before with a full head of hair so I mean it just depends on where your parts at if you're wearing something protective I feel like it's no worse now than it was before now if I had like cue balled it and like taken a big razor to it or something then yeah definitely but I haven't been in a situation where I needed to put sunscreen on my head <laughs> okay so those are all the questions I wanted to go over that you guys asked. Thank you so much for sending them in. Let's get to a few other topics here. Generally, how do I feel? I feel good. I don't feel the same. I feel like this decision was completely life-changing. In the grand scheme of things, I definitely gave me a confidence boost because I'm like, now I know I can pull off a shaved head, you know? And that's like a big thing because me personally, I am a dog groomer and I constantly have sharp things and sometimes like I forget to turn them off and like, I I'm like holding it by my head and it's like now I don't like worry like if I accidentally like shave a side of my head or something this has never happened I've never seen this ever happen to anyone but this is just like a fear of mine or it was a fear of mine I guess I actually have seen it happen where the rotary tools that we use to grind dogs nails down can get stuck in people's hair I've seen it happen and they have to cut it out I've seen that happen twice now it's like if that ever were to happen to me it's like I can cut my hair short and just 
you know, whatever. That's just like a personal thing for me. I don't know, you get gum stuck in your hair. I don't really chew gum either. Like I do sometimes, but not very often, but like, I don't know. There's just a lot of things that like, they're not so scary anymore. Like any idea of me not having hair for a variety of reasons, they don't scare me anymore. So <laughs> that's really cool. I will say that when I had really long purple hair, I got a lot more compliments on it. And I have been complimented on my bald head by people I don't know, but it's definitely, I would say it's a different group of people. I went to a vegan restaurant for my friend Paulo's birthday and one of the waiters complimented me and they were like, wow, you must feel so liberated. And I'm like, yeah, I do. Otherwise, I think once someone at a McDonald's drive-thru said something once like, oh, it looks really good on you, you pull it off. I'm like, thanks. But seriously, like with my long purple hair, it was like every day, like the grocery store clerks, like, you know, so this is all like personal to me because not everyone went from having long purple hair to a bald head. But I've noticed that for sure. I've noticed that people don't compliment me as much, but that's fine. The whole point of this was that like, I was doing this for me. This wasn't to please anyone else. That's a really big thing to admit because I think the biggest part of me wanting to do this was just to admit to myself that I could, that I had the balls to do it because a lot of people are always like, oh man, I wish I had the balls to do that. And I'm like, I mean, if I could do it, shit, like I am like the most insecure person. <laughs> you watched my original head shaving video. I've talked about a lot of my insecurities and I feel like if, if I can do that, like anyone could, it's, but it is scary. Yeah. But it's almost like jumping out of a plane or something like a people who are scared of doing something and then they do it and it's like the feeling was on par with that you know I, I was freaking terrified of shaving my head because it's kind of just like the fear of the unknown like what how are people gonna react you know and I will say that reactions have been overwhelmingly positive that leads me into my next topic here of how do other people around me feel I work in an environment where I have repeating customers. Like I have that level of people and then I have like the level of my close friends. And then when I do leave my house and have to <laughs> interact with people I don't know, then there's them. Starting at my friend tier, like obviously not a single one of them have been like, oh man, I wish you hadn't done that. You know, friends and family and stuff, like they've all been really supportive. Before I shaved my head, there were a lot of family members like aunts and like grandparents and stuff who are just like don't do that your hair is so long and beautiful and it's like well you're missing the point you know and when when, when people say stuff like that it makes me want to do it more so there was that but for the most part all my friends were like yes queen slay I wish I could have the balls to do that which it comes to be expected like that's what friends do friends support friends like what is on my head does not affect anyone else around me period but with the overwhelming positivity has come a little bit of negativity there are two main examples of this that I have experienced in the past month the first one being one of my customers at work a sweet sweet little old lady I've been grooming her dog for many many years I went out to greet her I'm walking out of the store to her car and she's just watching me walk up to her and I just see her go <laughs> like that and I'm like oh boy here we go and her kind of like shock turned into concern she's just kind of like and then she goes what did you do and first of all I'm like what does it freaking look like I did <laughs> like you know exactly what I did um but I was just like shaved my head <laughs> and she was like why did you do that and I said because I wanted to and she goes but you're so pretty and I think I misunderstood this because at that point I was like thank you. And she goes, literally word for word, I am not making this up. I am not over exaggerating this. This is what she said to me. I said, thank you. And she said, no, I mean before with your hair, not what you have now. Little old lady spitting fire. And, and I, I literally just told her, I said, well, I don't think I need hair on my head to feel pretty. And she just changed the subject. I checked her dog in and then we did whatever. That was it. As far as someone that I, I guess I would consider that I have some sort of relationship with having a negative reaction, that was a thing. The only other reactions I would say that were negative were from YouTube comments. And this is a very small percentage. There are, I don't know how many comments are on that video. I gotta go see. There are over 400 comments on that video. And actually the like and dislike ratio is probably a good explanation there. So a little over 1700 likes and 60 dislikes. I would say, I don't know what that percentage is. That's probably around the comment ratio too. And obviously I don't know most of these people. So I wanted to like make a video separately someday explaining how I deal with YouTube comments um, that are hateful. And in this situation, I felt like I had to defend myself for these types of comments because they're just 
stupid. <laughs> I feel like I only maybe responded to like two or three hate comments on that video, which for over 400 comments, that's not many at all. So, and I know recently there was one of a girl who was like, who basically said that I was ungrateful for my hair. And I feel like that is the dumbest thing <laughs> that anyone who had watched that video could have said because I went into my struggles with trichotillomania like for, for someone to say that someone's struggling with trichotillomania is ungrateful for their hair that's like an oxymoron it's ironic there is no sense to it so it's like did you even watch the video did you listen to the words that were coming out of my mouth anyway um so there was that there were a few people who were like oh my god you didn't have to shave your whole head why didn't you just like cut it short it's like because you're missing the point right so uh, that's one thing that i've had to keep telling myself over and over is that the people who first of all don't know me those people who have mean things to say the point has gone completely over their head either that or they're just sad miserable people who feel like they need to leave youtube hate comments and that's honestly like how i feel about youtube hate comments in general like if you're gonna go out of your way to say something absolutely hateful towards someone who's not doing anything to deserve hate i i just think those people are sad and at that point like it can't bother me anymore it almost like draws some sympathy out of me to be like, man, they must like, they must be miserable, you know? Um, but yeah, there haven't been that many of those on YouTube for sure. Most of the comments you can scroll through, they're like, yes, girl power, more power to you, you rock it, you look great. I guess that's the biggest thing. I mean, like I, I did put myself out on a public platform and, and I did this publicly. So it's like, of course, there's going to be people leaving comments. However, I am also a very strong proponent of women uplifting other women. Most of the comments on that video are from women. Um, there were a few from men. I did see one, and actually, I don't think this was even on my head shaving video. It was on someone else's who was like, no guy will want you now saying that to another girl who had shaved her head. And it's like, who fucking cares? Who gives a shit? Like, and, and this girl in this video, like had her fiance or something, or boyfriend maybe, I don't know, was in the video helping her do it. It's like, oh no, a guy who is not my significant other thinks I'm unattractive. What am I going to do? Like I said, this is not something that I received on my end. This is just something I saw someone else receive. And it's just so sad. But that's just getting into a whole other topic of toxic masculinity and men being pigs and all that and anyway <laughs> i digress yeah so the last thing i want to touch on is do i regret it and it is an overwhelmingly resounding no i do not regret what i did to my hair there are some days where i miss having long hair there are some days when i want to feel very feminine and i just am not and i bought those wigs and just in case i hated it and there's never been a day where I looked in the mirror and I hated this. There are just days when I'm like, I wish I had hair to hang out behind, but it's kind of a security blanket, you know? Like doing this, like I said, it's facing a fear and it's getting rid of that security blanket. My band and I are playing a show this Friday. Uh, it'll be my first show without hair to flip around. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty nervous about it. People usually will take videos and pictures and stuff and I'm like, bald people look weird, like, <laughs> you know? So there's that kind of insecurity, but you know what? I think that just gives me more experience to find another way to have stage presence. And I think that's really important in what I wanna do with my life. For every con to shaving your head, there's an overwhelming pro against it. Does that make sense? So, I mean, I would absolutely say no, I don't regret it one bit. The only thing is that the sides are starting to grow out and I will take hairspray and like gel and stuff and try to get these little pieces down and just like, no matter what, they just like don't, they don't lay down at all. They like stick out. Um, that is the situation that I've never had to deal with before because I've never had short hair before. So that just leads me to say like, well, I'll probably end up doing the sides short eventually. I'm kind of just going with the flow. I'm going wherever the wind takes me, <laughs> which I think is a pretty healthy way to live your life. Not caring about material things. 
like hair. I think hair is kind of a material thing. People spend money on their hair, people spend time on their hair, and it's like, I'm kind of like in that point in my life too where I'm trying to live a little bit more minimally. I'm like throwing a lot of stuff away in my house. I'm trying to declutter. I'm de trying to declutter my life, and this is part of it, you know? I guess I, I think I've touched on just about everything I wanted to touch on. I don't know if I'm gonna make a two month update. We'll see. If I have more to talk about regarding like how my hair has grown out, um, um, I don't know, maybe I will, but I'll definitely do like a six month update and like, I don't know, all that, but we'll see. Like I said, just going where the wind takes us for now. So thank you so much for watching. Thank you for submitting your questions and uh, thank you for being part of this family. And if you haven't clicked subscribe, do so. We have a lot of fun stuff going on here. So I'd love to have you. And with that all being said, I'll see you next time.